In the high-stakes world of law enforcement, officers often find themselves facing unpredictable and dangerous situations. From chasing suspects in high-speed chases to being involved in shootouts, the officers have to be prepared at all times. But what happens when the suspects decide to fight back? Can they escape the long arm of the law? Or will they find out the harsh consequences of taking on an officer? Find out. Today, we're delving into the insane moments when suspects try to fight cops. Up first, buckle up for a high-speed chase straight out of the pages of the Fast and Furious franchise, with thrills, spills, cars, flips, and guns. But spoiler alert, the cops win. Florida Highway Patrol troopers arrested a 22-year-old Bushnell man for intentionally driving at two deputies and nearly striking several pedestrians. In November 2020, Citrus County deputies responded around 7.17 a.m. to a call regarding a stolen vehicle. The sheriff's office says someone stole a four-door Burgundy Ford pickup truck from Mountain Lake Avenue in Floral City. Authorities received a tip two hours later where the stolen truck could be found. Deputies immediately responded to a home on East Muzzle Loader's Court in Inverness, where they found the truck. The home's occupant granted permission for a search of the property as deputies made their way behind the house they spotted Travis Lovett inside the truck. The sheriff's office says Lovett saw the deputies and attempted to leave the area. According to the arrest report, he deliberately drove the truck at one deputy, who jumped out of the way to avoid being hit. Authorities say during the ensuing high-speed pursuit, Lovett intentionally accelerated at another deputy, who drove off the road to avoid a collision. The sheriff's office says Lovett attempted to lose the deputies following him by driving in the opposite lanes of traffic through Inverness and Floral City. At one point, officials say Lovett even drove down the rails to Trails Recreational Trail, where he almost struck several pedestrians. The Florida Highway Patrol joined the pursuit after it entered Hernando County, where authorities say he fired at deputies. This one hit. The pursuit continued into Sumter County, where troopers performed a PIT maneuver on the truck, causing it to flip several times. Yeah, 
Lovett was ejected from the truck after it flipped. Paramedics flew him to a local hospital. His condition was not released. Incidents like this are always extremely dangerous. We try to use every precaution possible when we respond to these types of incidents, said Citrus County Sheriff Mike Prendergast. When we have a suspect who is hell-bent on avoiding all contact with law enforcement, their behavior becomes unpredictable and erratic. They will risk their life, the lives of innocent citizens, and the lives of all our law enforcement deputies. Bushnell resident Travis Duane Lovett was charged in Citrus County with two counts of aggravated assault and one count of aggravated flee eluding law enforcement. He was handed a 50-year state prison sentence stemming from this multi-county vehicle chase. Also, he was ejected from the truck and was hospitalized in critical condition. This is not the 22-year-old's first encounter with law enforcement in a stolen vehicle. Lovett was arrested in January 2019 for reckless driving and fleeing to elude, after he allegedly led deputies and troopers on a high-speed chase through multiple counties. From wild chases to shocking brawls, we've got it all. But remember, these videos aren't just about the action. They're a stark reminder of the risks our brave men and women in uniform face every single day. In the next case, an Austin town man was booked into the Mohawk County Jail after reports said he attacked a police officer in the lobby of the police department. Huh? Ain't nobody f***ing mental. Call somebody so I can f***ing talk to someone. On September 14th, 2023, a male later identified as 27-year-old Kashawn Sims entered the Youngstown Police Department lobby in emotional distress. Welcome, good friend. Manifestation? Yes, manifestation bullshit. Okay, I, I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. The chief only talks to people if they make a, uh, an appointment. They only make, you have to make an appointment with the chief to see him. Okay. You know what? Let me call somebody from my age. Reports said Sims came into the lobby of the police department at 116 West Boardman Street, about 1040 a.m., and told the officer who was stationed in the lobby to take reports he needed to speak to the manager. The officer assigned to the auxiliary office taking on station reports initially attempted to engage with Sims. However, the situation escalated. When the officer asked him to be more specific, Sims began rambling and was told to leave, reports said, but he refused. Okay. Okay. You're all. She's not in her office. Yeah, but everybody you need to talk to, that you want to talk to, are, uh, you have to make an appointment to see them. Well, that's the way it's gonna be. You can say no all you want. Okay. I have someone who actually needs help. Can you have them? Sir. Don't be difficult. Just, what? just, there's no one that will talk to you. Probably will. No. Yeah. Because you're talking about some kind of manifestation. Yeah, it's tell, it's that, you know what that tells me? What? That you're mental. You're retarded. Say that shit again. You're mental. Come say it to my face. The officer then opened a door inside the lobby to talk to Sims further when Sims suddenly swung at the officer and hit him in the face and head.
Sims became confrontational and a physical altercation took place involving both the officer and Sims. You have to leave now, sir. Call someone right the phone. I'm not calling anyone. Yeah, you you have to leave. Why? Leave. Make me leave. Leave. Make me leave. Make you leave? Yeah. Make me leave. Make sure this is on. You have to leave, sir. Make me leave. You say that again. You called me retarded. You say that shit again. You're mental. Think I'm playing, bro? Huh? Ain't nobody mental. Call somebody so I can talk to someone. Get off me. Say that again. Say that again. We can do this all day. Yes, we can. Yeah. The encounter took a crucial turn when Sims dropped the officer twice and attempted to access the officer's firearm. Yeah. Yeah, y'all hear this shit out here? Who is it, man? I have no idea. Alright, we're just gonna roll him over. Take my gun yeah. belt. Get a hand. Right, get Hand me my uh, handcuff. You're getting press charges on the big boy. Alright. Get off, roll on your stomach, bud. Get the roll on your stomach. Put them roll over. There you go. Fucking faggots. Here, give me that. Yep. I got some for you on that, boy. You did today. I got some for all of you. Let's go. I'm see you again. So. The two struggled and Sims reached for the officer's gun before a plainclothes officer came in and saw what was happening. A patrol supervisor also came in and the three of them together managed to handcuff Sims. Officers searched Sims' car and found a loaded 9mm semi-automatic handgun with a 17-round magazine and an additional 25 rounds of ammunition in the car, reports said. Kishan Sims, age 27, was arrested and booked into Mahoning County Jail on charges of aggravated robbery, a first-degree felony, two counts of assault on a police officer, a fourth-degree felony, misdemeanor counts of resisting arrest and obstructing official business. He remains jailed after his bond was set at $100,000 during his arraignment in municipal court. The officer was taken to St. Elizabeth Health Center to be examined, but has since returned to duty. Reports said the department would notify the Mahoney County Sheriff's Office about the attack on the officer, since Sims has a concealed carry permit issued by the MCSO. At St. Elizabeth Health Center, both were in common area waiting to be treated in the emergency room when Sims continued to threaten the officer, reports said. The escalation of situations is a very important part of being a police officer. But unfortunately, many officers are not well trained in it or are just too inexperienced, which results in high tension situations becoming even worse. Up next, a newly released video by the Los Angeles Police Department shows an attempted murder and a police chase that ends in a crash, all stemming from a child custody dispute. Oh, hey, 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 oh! 
The incident occurred on October 1, 2023, when Harbor Division officers responded to calls of a child custody dispute in the parking lot of a Target store at Gaffey Street and Capitol Drive in San Pedro. I, I, I have a, a mom taking a child that I have custody of and I, re and I need help because she's getting ready to get into a car and drive off. I'm in San Pedro. Um, I'm in San Pedro right now. You have custody of it, like sole custody? I have sole custody, yes. And she's getting ready to pull off in the vehicle right now. Um, I am at um, the cruise terminal, Los Angeles. I don't know where this is right now. I'm sorry. There, I don't see an address right now. Is it cross street? Yes, it's um. Let me see. One second. It's Harbor. Uh, Harbor Boulevard is the main street, and Swinford. She's starting the she's starting the vehicle up right now. Okay. And she's driving the engine. And she has them in a car with no car seats, please. Oh my god. Son, daughter. Uh, it's a it's a son. Is she the mother of the child? Uh yes. Black white Hispanic or Asian? I'm sorry? Is she black white Hispanic or Asian? She's black. How old is she? I think she's like thirty eight. What's her name? My my Scott. Huh? Uh, uh, no, I didn't say that. Uh, no, my, it's my, yeah. How does she get, how does she get your son? Um, it's, it's her son, but she picked him up from Friday. She picked him up from school Friday for me. What's your name and phone number? Uh, my phone number? My name is. What kind of vehicle is she in? Uh, she's in a U-Haul Silverado. A U-Haul truck. And what's the license? Uh, shit. Um, I can't really see the license right now. I'm trying to make sure he doesn't. She don't leave. Uh, All right. In the video, the suspect, identified as 39-year-old Misha Scott, is discussing with officers why she's refusing to return her 5-year-old son to his foster parents following a visitation. I'm having a hard time co-parenting with my cousin here, Scott has heard saying in the video. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. What's okay. going on? Don't walk towards me like that. I'm in stress. No, I just didn't want please the car to ruin me. Please don't. Call me to place before you run up on me like that. I'm in distress. Okay, what's going on? you need another help for that, don't do that, please. I'm begging y'all. Please don't do that. Don't do what? Run up on me and Look at me, I'm standing here with my hands in my pockets, all right? You got to understand it, all right? Calm down. I'm calm. No, you're not. Okay, explain to me what's going on. I'm calm. I'm calm. Okay, listen to the officer. Okay, this officer here? Yes. Okay, you know what? Okay, what's going on? Okay, so. Me and my cousin, okay, here you go, right here. Ma'am, talk to me. No, Ma'am, ma talk to me. Okay, okay, it's, fine. it's fine. I'll tell you, you no, we all can talk together talk since we are here. So what's going on? Okay, so I'm, I'm good. I'm a mother. Okay. First of all. First. Yes, I understand you're a mother. Okay, and that's it. And um, I'm having a hard time co-parenting with my cousin here of, uh, of course, because he, oh, didn't you bring back, have you seen it, it's just me and my child, you know what I'm saying? So, please don't, please don't. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma okay, I'm just making we, sure you know, we have to talk, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all, if y'all wanna, if y'all wanna do this, y'all can just, you know what I mean? Listen, do I've, 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 I've been able to say about two sentences here, okay? Because you haven't been explained to me or anything, you keep no, interrupting me. No, because I already so said I'm in distress already and call somebody that, that can mean? help me. Okay, explain to me about that. The 39-year-old tells officers that she's distressed, and as they question her about her son's legal guardian, she becomes agitated. That means that the police does not have no control over this situation. Uh, okay, I don't really know what the situation her, is because exactly. you haven't been able to explain anything to me. So why don't you take a deep breath, okay, and let's start from the from the beginning. Okay. All right, because I just got here. And I just got some information from what someone told the dispatcher. 
I really don't understand. Everyone's safe. I'm not concerned about anything right now. No one's going anywhere. All right. But I need to know why I was, why I was brought here. So let me ask you a few questions. This is your son, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and how old is he? Five. Five? Okay. Now, explain to me, before anything happened today, what's the cussy situation with your son? The cussy situation with my son was that my cousin take care of my son and protect him okay. by all costs until his mother gets out of jail and able to commit uptime custody herself. Okay, so there is a court order that's staying this? No, there was a court order. There was court a court order. The court order is closed. Okay, this so, is a wrap. Okay, so tell me what the court order originally said. The court order said, said. for me okay. to listen to my cousin okay. by all means necessary because... Your cousin, your cousin is this gentleman over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay, let me... Uh, so you were in jail at some point, correct? Um, I was incarcerated. You were incarcerated at some point, all right? And because of that, your child had, your cousin had custody of your child? Yeah. Yes or no? Okay. So is that, who made that decision? Was it Me. Department of Children? No, who made the decision? No, I made a decision because I asked the court, okay. can he go with my cousin? Because I trusted my cousin. Okay. With all that, that the court was asking. The court asked me, did I know anybody? That means, if I know you, that means a family member, a friend, a neighbor that I might know, a nice police officer from back in the day you might know, anybody in the world to get, that could come get your baby today. Okay. So the court gave your cousin custody of your child? No. No. No one has custody of my child. My child's in the system. Meaning he's up for grabs. If I get in trouble, they're gonna take him. If he get in trouble, they're gonna take him. So no one's right or wrong here. Okay, we don't so, okay, know okay, because no, we haven't Let's, seen no judge. Let's stop that because obviously we're talking to two different languages okay. here. Because you, I understand. Okay, because so I'm why upset. You, why don't you tell me what happened today? Oh, what happened today? Um, I got up. I took a shower. I got a shower, and we headed to the park. Okay. And then today, well, yeah, let me today, ask you a question. So. It, it, Staying with you? No, the whole time. All oh. summer, okay. every day, every day that he's supposed to be with him. I take him to school, I fix him clothes, I buy his food. Uh, I, so I, yeah. got, okay. I got beat up. Okay, you tell me about your stuff that doesn't really no, apply, but I, let I'm me, just telling you. No, let me, because I need to figure this out. Because I'm, I'm upset, that's why. So yeah, you, I'm you so, keep I, telling me to calm down, you can't keep, that's why I said, can you call somebody that can negotiate all of our situations so we all leave fair so no one just cause I'm, no I'm more trying, commotion. I'm trying to do that. The back and forth goes on for a bit longer with no end in sight. So, where do you live? I live at 14 Nadu. Okay, is that your own place? Are you staying with someone else? Um, no, it's a shared living. Shared living, what does that mean? Huh? Explain to me what that means. Roommate, that means I don't have enough income okay, to so live by have, myself because okay. my cousin gets my income. So you don't live with your cousin? You don't no. Live okay. Does live with you? Yeah, okay. back and forth. Back and forth. Joint custody. So you have joint custody mm -hmm. with... with how does that work out? Is there certain days that you're yeah. supposed to have him and he's supposed to have him? Yeah, we agreed with him. He he made up everything. Like, I'm just saying yes, 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 because he did me a favor. Okay. Let's let's get an understanding. That's I'm trying to get this okay. understood so y'all don't pick sides. Is this documented? Yeah, everything so, is documented. That's so why I wanted to have a positive conversation. You have a copy of that document? Listen, I have a, a copy of certain documents. I don't have all the documents in the world to prove what I'm saying is right. He don't have no documents to say that he's right. All I did was take the document that the police um, asked me for. Okay, okay, so let's 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 avoid that again. We're, we're talking two different languages and I don't think we're getting over that. Okay, but so it's not today, a game. So that's what I'm trying to understand you. No one, it just seems like you don't understand what I'm talking about. He don't understand what I'm talking about. That's why I said don't run up on me like that. To call somebody that can deal with the situation. If you don't know nobody like that, we don't. I don't even. I, I don't even know who lives in San Pedro. That's why we came to San Pedro. Okay, you're talking about a bunch of stuff that's implied. Here. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. Okay. that's what I know. Again, for. let me ask you questions. Okay, and you can answer them as specific this, as you can. We're not going nowhere with it. Police then called the Department of Children and Family Services, who confirmed that Scott does not have custody. All of this while her five-year-old was sitting in the back of a U-Haul pickup truck. I know my rights. Obviously, everybody knows their rights and they don't give a fuck. Like, I give a fuck about my rights. 
Um, she doesn't have test with him, but they've been letting her see her son because they said that she's been doing better. So they gave her permission to see him. But today, when they called to for her to return the child, uh, she has been kind of evading them. So they had to come here and track her down. And she's just refusing to get the child. All they want oh, then is so he, to get the child. Oh, so I should have called kidnapping on here. Well, no, okay. okay. Oh, we plan to so, kidnap. So, but so they're saying that DCSF decides who's supposed to. There's no court order the or uh, sergeant. The one that told me because they don't have an actual like. They don't have like paperwork, paperwork, paperwork on them. No, I got it right here. Sergeant told me to just contact DCFS to see if there's an open case on it already. Just to verify. Okay. So, sir, I'm sorry, you, know, you have no paperwork, documentation on you at all that'll, that'll help us? I wasn't expecting something. this. Yeah, I wasn't okay. expecting it. A short time later, officers can get the child out of the pickup truck and peacefully transfer him to his foster parents, one of whom is Scott's cousin. I'm gonna take custody of your son. Yeah. We're gonna go back to the station. Yeah, and, and all of us gonna and wait. No, your son's gonna come with us. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll have to figure out, we'll have to have DCSF come out, create a whole new case, yeah. start over again. That's what I'm saying. Okay, there's That's, no reason. Agreed. Thank you. Well, no, no. Wait. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Or you can. Go ahead and grab it. Come on, come on. I'm just playing. I'm Ma'am, just playing. You didn't give me We're not playing stuff. games. Bye. You want your stuff, baby? All right. Let him, can he get his stuff, please? Okay. You want him to go with him? No. Well, give me his stuff. I'm just playing. Where else he gonna well, go? We're not you playing, ma'am. Are you sure? We're not playing him games. Okay. Sir. We'll get okay. his stuff. Let let get his stuff. Okay. Like, look. That, that's this is very disrespectful. What's his stuff? He knows his stuff. Okay. You don't have nothing. This man stars my child. So you know what? If you don't give me okay, his stuff, well, you can keep it. No. Well, how am I going to keep it? What does that do for my child? Well, you're not doing anything for your child. Okay, right I'm now. just asking okay. you. My, uh, Maisha? I'm, I'm stressed well, out. I'm having child, a hard explain, time. Explain to her what uh, Department of Child Family right, Services so, told you. Okay, come on. You're going to be good. You can talk to me. Okay, don't walk away, ma'am. I've got a smoke. I've got a smoke. I'm trying to smoke. Okay. You want to hear me out? Yeah, I'm telling you, the I'm already okay. I spoke to the supervisor down at the CFS, and they informed me that on 2019 there was no complaint, and it shows that legal guardian. 2019? No, this. No, been illegally. With, see, this is how I know this negative. Since 2017. Yeah. So now, what's the next one? Okay, Maisha. Okay. So uh, oh, it was another one. On Whoa! Uh, I'm just excited. Sorry. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's based on the information that the partner got from the Department of Child Family Services. Yeah. Watch the other video with y'all, okay? Okay. It's okay. Right. She can. Does he have a backpack? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can I grab that All of his stuff. All right, I'll get that from her, right? Damn. Like, what, why are y'all doing this to me? We're not. We're just. Y'all, y'all, y'all did. Look. Where, where's his backpack? And he told my son that he's not safe. Look yeah. how he's holding my son. Where's his backpack? I'm your anger! I love you, son! Don't fight! Relax! The issue appears to be resolved, but as the 39-year-old woman starts to drive away, she turns the truck around and plows into the foster mother, barely missing one of the officers. This watcher. So, uh, get, you guys got all her information? Yes, my partner has enough. Okay. Uh, 3189. Whoa! Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs>
3189. The incident number is? 3189. Whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh! Oh! 511, officer needs help. Shots fired. The target. Partner, where are you? Get the car, get the car. Another officer is seen in the video running toward the U-Haul and firing his gun in an attempt to stop it. She continues and leads authorities in pursuit until she eventually crashes into a tree at Pacific Avenue and Paseo del Mar. Hey guys, they didn't use her, coming back at the officers, coming back to Cappy, off of, uh, I believe this is Shepard here. Oh, I saw that oh. up there. She's going to go over the thing there. Oh, okay, Paso del Mar. Uh, TC, into the park here, guys. Hold the frequency control, hold the frequency. Go ahead, approach on the side. So we'll rest from you. Guys, stand by, stand by, stand by. Go ahead, approach team, go ahead. Stand by. Hey guys, just pull it out and flip her over. Got it, got it. Let me know when to approach. Go! Hey, hey, go ahead. Go ahead, pull it up, pull it up. Here, here, here. Come here, come here. On your stomach, on your stomach, on your stomach. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Any bell from the front? Yes, sir. Scott was taken to the hospital where she was treated for her injuries and taken into custody. She is facing two counts of attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer, and felony evading. The foster mother was treated for her injuries and is expected to recover. Barnes said that she's been in excruciating pain since the violent incident, but that her main concern is the little boy who watched the entire situation unfold from inside a nearby car. I'm hoping that little guy gets a fair shot at growing up and being a healthy young man, she said. The most hurtful thing was when we walked away with him, she was screaming out, I love you, and I don't want him to see that as love. She's also hoping that police learn from what happened that night as well. She threatened to harm us in front of the officers, so we thought that was a clear indication that she was not well and that she was a threat, Barnes said. How they let her get in the car and pull off, I don't know if that's policy or not. I hope it's not. Meanwhile, Barnes said the child's foster parent is trying to relocate him to family members out of the state for his safety. No officers or other community members were injured during the incident, authorities said. LAPD's Specialized Force Investigation Division as well as the Forensic Science Division are investigating the officer-involved shooting. You have to really feel bad for the kid having to deal with this situation and seeing his biological mother act like this. One also has to commend the patience of the officers present on the scene. We've witnessed heart-pounding chases, tense standoffs, and split-second decisions that can mean the difference between life and death. With all the bad rap that law enforcement gets, some of it and rightfully so, there's also a profound display of courage, dedication, and unwavering commitment of our law enforcement officers to uphold the peace and protect our communities. So, that's it for today. 
If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and let us know what kind of video you'd like to see next. Also, subscribe to see plenty of tense and engaging real-life incidents straight from the streets to your screens.